The film clips you're about to see are some of the various TV appearances Cottontails has made over the years since our beginning in Bristol in 1993. Featured are snippets from Vets in Practice, Pet Squad and various news bulletins, most centred around the battle for Cottontails' very existence which continued for over four years until our move to Canesham. From a personal point of view, the film include excerpts that I find painful to watch, as not only was this during a time of great struggle to keep the charity and the lives of all the animals alive, but also it's a reminder of a very difficult time in my life where I didn't know where the next blow would come from next. I am, however, so grateful for the support I did receive, and I will be forever indebted to the people who were prepared to stand up and be counted with me. I cringe slightly at some of the early scenes, but I'm now proud of how Cottontails has developed in the subsequent years, as is shown in the last part of the films in BBC's Country File scene. I've made good use of my mistakes over the years, and know there's still much to learn. The films are divided into parts due to YouTube restrictions of a maximum of 10 minutes upload per film. I hope you enjoy them. Hi, I'm Myron Crosby and I run the Cottontail Sanctuary for rabbits, guinea pigs, chinchillas and birds. We take in these animals that are needing new homes, that are unwanted and abandoned. If you'd like to come through, I'll show you some of the bunnies that we have. We have over 100 rabbits here just now, and the large majority are children's pets, ex-children's pets. The children are bored, and mum and dad unfortunately can't be bothered to look after them. Just like all the rabbits here, are all the same category. If anyone would like to help by giving a rabbit a home, all you need to do is to contact me, either um, on the phone or, or actually turn up. Um, I will want to know that you have got the hutch ready or if you haven't, you know, to choose one that's here. Um, I will give you a care sheet and fill you in on all the details about how to look after one of these. Then basically we would go around and have a look and see if there was something that was suitable. I do like to match people up with the right type of rabbit because uh, they are all very different, like cats and dogs. Some are suitable to some people and some are suitable to others. And some people are better not having one at all. Hello, my name is Myron. This is my house, but it also doubles up as a sanctuary called Cottontails. Come in and have a look. But as well as being the home of Myron, her husband and two children, there are a lot of other guests, aren't there, Myron? There certainly are. We've got about 70 rabbits here just now, several chinchillas and many birds. And Good pigs. grief! How did you keep up with it all? Um, hard work. Mm -hmm. Bit of madness, I think, here <laughs> and there. <laughs> are these your chinchillas? Yes, or? they are. Right. Yeah. Are what normally happens in here? This is normally a hospital room where we have all the sick animals that need extra heating and extra care. They all stay in here. Yeah. So we can have up to maybe four or five cages all over the place in here. Gosh, sick bay. We're in sick, sick bay. bay. Yes. Like casualty in here. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> yes. Chaotic as well. Do the animals that come to you, are they always ill? Generally speaking, there's something wrong with most of them, yes. Yeah. From minor ailments um, like teeth and claw problems to major things like pneumonia. How do you deal with that? I mean, have you been trained as a vet all? Um, I've learnt a lot as I've gone along. Mm. I've I'm, I'm, uh, been trained under a vet before when I was in Edinburgh, so I've learnt a lot from that. And I'm working behavioural work with the Medical Research Council, mm. so I've learnt that way. With the animals that come in, do you find them or do people find them and bring them in or are they sort of personal pets that they bring in? Um, personal pets is the large majority that they've got bored with. Oh. It's very sad. And they realise they're not cuddly toys and they bring them in. Mm. Um, some people find them, but the ones they've been found have been dumped, of course. Somebody's just thrown them out. Yeah. It's awfully sad. Yeah. Oh, look, she's going to make me fill up. <laughs> You've got lots more to see, haven't you? We certainly have. Can we have a look? Yeah. Excellent, the guided. 
Oh, my word. They're even in your kitchen. Yeah. What are these? These are axolotls. I've never seen... Can I just say, they look a bit hideous to me, Maren. Yeah, so they're used in the very sort of old-fashioned horror films, actually. If you see the underwater horror movies, you'll see these. Oh. You'll see, you'll see horrible underwater creatures. Is that their full length and full size? Pretty much. You do get one or two individuals who grow a bit bigger than that. But that's them pretty much now. They are wild, aren't they? Yeah, they're not everyone's cup of tea, are they? <laughs> <laughs> not in your kitchen, no, anyway. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but those in the pot, you'd be in trouble. Are yeah. they your personal axolotls? Three of them are. Two of them we took on. Oh, um, right. They weren't being looked after properly. Yeah. So three are my own and two are, are extras, let's yeah. say. And you have to keep them all warm and They're tropical. actually cold water, actually. Oh, yes. are they? Yeah, the main problem is feeding with these. Yeah. It, it's their food, because they do like um, baby mice, which are frozen mice and too. We don't feed them live. Um, fish, prawns, that sort of thing. Oh, so well, it's not like it's not fish food that you, you sort of drop on, you know. Yeah. So that's the tricky, the tricky bit. With they them. do actually eat sort of meaty things. Yes, then? they do. Yeah. That is yeah. even. That's Anything even more that will get in their mouths, they mm. will have. So if you put your thumb in, they will have that as well. Ah! Have they got really sharp teeth? No, they have got like like sort of horny bits. Yeah. Which stick out. Ooh. Ooh. It's a, a mine of information. I'm interested to know what's in here, Myron. Ah, uh, well, this is my pride and joy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is this another personal one? Yeah, well, I took him on again from someone who didn't uh, look, look at after him. him. Look at him. I'll just move that plug out. He is very noisy. In three o'clock in the morning, he's croaking away. Really? Yeah. How old is he? He's about two. He is a fantastic he's lovely, isn't he? specimen. Yeah, he's a North American bullfrog. He looks Very rather like our cameraman, actually. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, that's not a bit of a likeness, really. <laughs> yes, actually. Thanks. <laughs> ribbit, ribbit, she said. <laughs> now, talking of ribbits, you've got some, haven't you? Yeah, we have. Oh, we you are. see, it just goes on. It's an extraordinary house. Yeah. And it's packed to the gunnels. Now, you say you haven't got the birds in. What what normally happens then? Uh, we got a lot of fostered and orphan birds coming in, damaged cat victim birds, yeah. and they're all lined up in the kitchen. <laughs> all along the kitchen where I talk, all little, all little baby birds. And Lauren, I have to ask, what do your family think of this? They'd rather I did something else, knitting or crochet or something, you're quite, you know. But it's not in your makeup. Not thing. really, no, oh. no, it's not me, I'm afraid. Yeah. I cannot believe the size of this rabbit. You're going to have to look at... That is an amazing... Yeah. How old is she? She's about nine months from what I gather. You, is she going to get any bigger? No, 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 that's her. She, she'll get a little bit broader, a bit fatter probably, but, but uh, not any longer. I, say, I thought I had problems, Myron. <laughs> yeah, no, she, she's quite a big bunny. She's a French lop, so she's meant to look like that. Right. Uh, what will happen to her? Um, the lady who brought her in felt she couldn't really cope with her. She's a little bit bad-tempered. She's not bad, but she can be a little bit grumpy. <laughs> so a bit she's like me. P yeah, PMT she's <laughs> got. Very much like me, in which case. <laughs> I've every sympathy for her. <laughs> Do people come and claim them? I mean, it, it, you'd sort of nurse them and, and get them well. Can people come here and maybe choose one? Yes, we do. We'd have to ask a small fee, obviously, because mm. that's the only way we can keep going. Mm. Um, but, yeah, we do. We, we want people to come forward and claim them. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. You can see a rabbit and you can cope with them. Yes, as, as soon as possible, yeah. preferably. Um, they're all vaccinated here as well, so they're all in good, healthy condition when they go out. Yeah. Where does the money come from, Myron? That's the thing that, because this must take a lot of cleaning out, a lot of feeding, a lot of yeah, care and attention yeah. and heating and blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Who finances it? It pretty much runs itself. Donations for each rabbit, obviously. Mm -hmm. Six pound a bunny is what we ask. Yeah. Um, but as it costs four pound fifty to vaccinate them, that doesn't leave us much leeway. Anyway. Second hand hutches we sell, yeah. bedding we sell, bottles, that sort of thing. Right. And the odd donation that somebody will bring in. What would be mm. the I ideal sort of scenario for you? Uh, we need a major sponsor, something yeah. like ten or fifteen thousand, so we can actually leave here because it's, it's just hopeless here, yeah. and, and move somewhere with the side entrance, so we don't have the hutches and everybody yeah. trailing through the house, yeah. and a larger garden. Right, and you you obviously want to do it, don't you? Yes, we do. But if we don't get that sponsorship, yeah. we're finished. Uh, yeah. We can't keep going. It would be a real shame. But I mean, what a house! Yeah. Do you enjoy living here, Myron? Uh, yeah, most of the time. It's getting a bit of a pain, <laughs> you know. <laughs> What do your neighbours think of you? They'd rather we weren't here. <laughs> <laughs> she's all right. I'm telling you now, she's all right. Myron, thanks ever so much for having us. You're welcome. A couple of lovebirds on the old roof up there, Tony. Yeah. Oh, yes, look at him. Oh, he's on for a bit of action. Yeah. Way. <laughs>